Okay, so welcome to your practice this evening. Um, we are delving into, I thought, some chest openers, some neck stretches, and some relaxation of the jaw. I just feel like, from I'm just speaking for myself, I just feel like everything up here is very tight. I feel like with the smoke and all the stuff that's been happening um, in the world too, but mostly the smoke and just kind of a little bit of a change in the temperature. I'm starting to do this a bit, and I really want us to open up a bit more, okay? So that is what I'm planning to do for this practice. So let's get started in a seat of your choice, whatever that is. Okay, nice tall spine here. Maybe one leg in front of the other, or even extending one leg or the other. And then finding the windows of the eyes to close. And allowing the palms to rest gently on the knees, maybe for grounding if that's needed. If you're feeling especially lethargic, perhaps you wanna flip your palms that your palms are facing the sky for some energy. And then start to ride the waves of your breath. And just become that observer. The observer of the subtleties of the breath. Usually as we come to observe the breath, we're also bringing ourselves to the present moment, being aware of every breath as it passes. So leaving behind what came before this breath. And also, to what is to come after this breath. What I'd like us to do with our breathing is with every inhale, I'd like you to count to a count of four on your own time through the nose. And then your exhale will be a count of six, also through the nose. So the object to this longer exhale than inhale is to signify that we like that rest and digest response, the parasympathetic nervous system, hopefully to kick in, which is what happens when we elongate the exhalation. Okay, so Beginning now again to your own counts so of counting of four on the inhale and that count of six on your exhale. Complete two more cycles of your breath on your own time. And whenever you're finished, 
Coming back to your natural breath. And then blinking your eyes open. Okay, so we've been sitting here for a few minutes. Let's extend our legs out in front. Give them a little bit of a shake for a sec there. Okay. And then come right over onto hands and knees. Alrighty, so from our hands and knees, right into cat and cow. Okay, so wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tucking your toes under. On the inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the heart. Maybe the gaze looks up. On the exhale, tucking the tailbone, rounding your spine. Keep going to the rhythm of your own breath. Now these cat cows are actually phenomenal for opening up the lungs. As we slide the heart and the lungs through the shoulders on the inhale. Okay, exhaling any toxins out which I'm sure there have been more than normal lately with the smoke outside. So really feel those exhales and maybe even find a longer exhale than an inhale here too. And then find a nice neutral spine when you've completed that last exhalation. Untuck the toes and find your child's pose. So knees to the width of your mat, arms out in front. Really extend those arms to open the shoulders here. Sinking, of course, our tailbones back towards our heels. And parting the lips to allow the jaw to soften. From here, start to walk your hands over to the left off of your mat. Okay, so we can stay here, forehead on the, on the earth still, or take the right hand and plunk it on top of the left for a little bit more of a stretch into the right armpit there to the side. Take your right hand off the left, walk your hands back through center and all the way to the opposite side. Maybe the left hand is on top of the right this time. Again, forehead soft, eyes soft, jaw is soft. Walking your hands back through center once more, and then sliding all the way onto your bellies, actually. Okay, so with our bellies here, I'd like you to take your um, elbows directly under your shoulders, so into sphinx pose, okay? So pancake those hands down, back to the toes are on the earth, and extend the neck all the way out from the shoulders, kind of like a turtle, right? Turtle coming out of its shell, so imagine the long neck of a turtle coming out of its shell. And then all I'd like you to do is tuck your chin now into your chest. So get a good stretch to the back of the neck. Just watching that you're not clenching your jaw, right? Lift your head up. And then keeping your shoulders square, I'd like you to look over to the left. Okay, so watching that our shoulders don't move. Come back through center and then look over to the right. Come back through center again, inhale here. Exhale, lower your forehead down to the mat. Take the elbows up to the sides. Bring your forehead onto your hands. Bend your knees and just winch away from your legs back and forth for a sec.
Okay. Take your legs all the way back, back behind you. Slide your hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes in. Lift up through hands and knees and then right into your downward facing dog. So shifting back. Now we have not done much for the hamstrings yet. So notice how they might feel quite tight. Mine definitely do. So shifting back into that down dog as we press away from the mat with our hands and we bend our knees as much as we need to, maybe walking it out here. Walking out one leg and then the other. Find some glorious stillness here now as you press back into the heels. Again, knees can stay bent a little bit. Look forward towards your hands. And let's just take as many steps as we need to to get to the front of our mats. Okay, so we're just starting nice and easy. Dangling it out here, feet hip distance, taking opposite elbows and really letting the head be extremely heavy here. So all the tension, Releasing from the neck, out the crown of the head. Maybe swaying. Then release the arms, dripping down to the ground. And next inhale, come up for a halfway lift. So the hands rise up the shins, halfway belly button sucks into the spine. And exhale, hinging forward. Let's try that one more time. Inhale halfway. It's a nice active halfway pose. Exhale, release. Root into your feet. Rise your arms up. Sweep up. Inhale, tall, lengthening of the spine. Exhale, palms to the heart center. Ah, good. Let's take our hands up again. Inhale. This time, exhale, swan dive forward fold or just shifting down to that forward fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, back to forward fold. Take a step back with the left foot to warrior one. Okay, so our heels are aligned. Our hips are gonna stay quite square. We'll sweep our arms up, inhale. Just have to get my stance there. <laughs> and exhale here, plug the shoulders into their sockets. Front knee bent over that ankle, right? Now take the right elbow, bend at the elbow so you can take your palm at the base of your skull and then take your left hand and place it on top of that right elbow. And then maybe start to walk your right hand down your back. Okay, so opening, right shoulder, side of the body, neck is long. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Step back to downward dogs. Take a few steps back, probably that you need to. And pausing here. Shifting to high plank or AKA push up pose, right? Wrists under shoulders. You might lower the knees if you need to here. That's totally fine. Inhale here, pause. And then exhale, lower. So let's actually lower all the way down to our bellies, untuck our toes, and take our arms back with the palms facing up. Okay, so we're just going to practice here without grabbing the feet yet. Let's bring the fingertips back. Inhale, lift the chest and heart up. And then lift the feet up, maybe the knees up. Pause here. Okay, instead of bow pose, it's like a, maybe it's like a canoe, right? <laughs> a long canoe. And then exhale, lower everything down. Let's try that again. Inhale, rise the heart, rise the legs, shoulders back. Exhale, lower. We'll add on to that later. Slide hands under shoulders, tuck your toes, rise up through hands and knees, back to downward dog, big breath out. Okay, rise left leg sky high. It's a nice, long, three-legged dog, keeping our hips as square as we can and our shoulders. Look forward towards your hands. Shift into like a three-legged plank. Take your knee into your chest, round your spine, and then step your foot through. Okay, that transition, always something to work on, right? And then lower the back foot down into a really wide-legged pose for warrior two with the left leg forward. So 
Sweep arms out and up, palms facing down. Open hips, right? Front knee is in line with the middle of the back leg. Knee over ankle. Spread your wings. Oh, hang out here for just a second. Eyeing that front knee, just making sure it's not collapsing in, peeling it open. And then taking hands behind you, clasping your fingers together. I'm just going to move over here a little bit because I've got plants in the way there. <laughs> Take your shoulders back, shoulder blades to touch back behind you. And then on the exhale, look forward to the front right-hand corner of your mat and maybe dip down to the inside of the front leg. Using the muscles of your core to rise up. So inhale, really tight belly to lift yourself up. Exhale back to warrior two wings. <sighs> Pausing here already. Windmill our hands onto either side of the front foot. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot and step forward. Not back. <laughs> okay, step forward. And then dangle here. This time, clasp your fingers together. Take your palms towards the base of your skull. Another nice deep neck stretch so the elbows come into the ears. And the head comes as close as you can bring it to your legs. Knees can be bent. Release your arms. Inhale, halfway lifting. Exhale, fall forward. This time, ragdoll to stand. So bend the knees generously, really ragdoll, heavy arms, heavy head, slowly come up. Like you're rising up a ladder. So rung by rung, vertebra by vertebra. And eventually, when you're nice and tall, rock those shoulders back a few times. Right, still moving here. Sweep arms up, inhale. Exhale, hinge forward, fold. Once again, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fall forward. Take a step back with the right foot to warrior one. So probably not as big a stance as we just had for warrior two. Square hips, right? Front knee bent over ankle, sweep your arms up. Exhale, plug the shoulders into their sockets. Yeah, okie dokes. So pausing here for just a sec, again, getting those hips nice and square, bending the left elbow this time. Take your right hand on top of the left elbow, and then maybe walk or crawl your left fingertips down your back just as much as you feel like you like for that stretch. Right, pelvis is down to the earth, shooting down. Next inhale, rise both arms up. Exhale, hinge, forward fold. Or excuse me, not forward fold. Take the hands down to the earth, step back to downward dog. They're so interchangeable, right? Forward fold, downward dog. <laughs> Probably the two most common poses. So as we shift back and we hold our downward dog without holding the breath, keep the breath flowing. This time, rising the right leg up to the sky. Okay, pause in here. Extending that leg up nice and tall, leading with the heels, the foot is flexed towards the earth. Look towards your hands, shift forward like a three-legged dog, round your spine, take your knee into your chest and step forward. And then lower the back foot down, warrior two. So big stance here between the legs, windmill your arms up. Palms facing down, front knee over ankle. Right? Extend those arms super long. And then take your hands back behind you, clasp your fingers together, but this time you need the opposite thumb on top, right? The awkward feeling stance of the, of the hands, of the arms there. Take your shoulders all the way back, squeeze them in towards one another. And then on your exhale, as you look forward to the front left-hand corner of the mat, bring your chest down. Right. 
that right hip crease is still coming into the midline of the body, right? So we're not collapsing if possible. <laughs> Next inhale, rise it all up, strong bellies. Exhale, release your arms. Windmill your hands onto either side of the front foot, pivot onto the ball of the back foot, and I actually want you to step back to downward facing dog. Keeping you on your toes, right? So shifting back to that down dog, pausing. <sighs> Look forward towards your hands, shift forward to high plank or push up position or knees, right? Pausing here. And then we will all exhale down towards our bellies. Untuck your toes. So this is where we're gonna have a bit um, of a couple variations and choices, okay? So take the hands back behind you, palms facing up towards the sky. You can by all means come back into, I just call that canoe, <laughs> as we rise the legs and the arms up. Or into traditional bow pose. So you might bend the knees, you might reach around and grab the feet, the outsides of the feet or the ankles. And then on the inhale, lifting your heart and your thighs up. Exhaling to pause in the pose. Keep breathing. Okay. Especially if you're holding your ankles or your feet, you have a nice opening of the chest and the shoulders. Exhale, lower everything down. Let go of the feet. If you have them held, one hand on top of the other, rest your lovely heads down in your hands. Bend both knees, windshield wipe your legs back and forth. Just a little break there. Let your legs go back behind you, and we'll try that one more time, okay? So your choice, right? So either that funky kind of canoe pose or bow. So take your legs back behind you. Of course, you're going to be back behind you, your arms back behind you. Bend your knees. Reach around, grab your feet if you like to, or just extend the arms and the legs. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, pause. Maybe inhale, rise a little higher. And exhale to pause. On the next exhale, release everything again. One hand on top of the other. One more round of windshield wiper legs. So bend the knees. Windshield wipe the legs back and forth. And then take the legs down nice and long back behind you. Tuck your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes. Lift up through hands and knees back to downward dog. Big breath out. Whew. Give the head a little shake if you need to. Sit your gaze from your toes towards your fingertips, and then take as many steps as you'd like to go forward or jump into the front of your mat if that's in your practice, and pause. Inhale halfway, exhale fall forward. Root into the feet, rise the arms up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, palms to heart center. Okay, feet stay hip distance apart. Take your right hand on your heart. Take your left arm about shoulder height. And then just simply reach your left arm back behind you. So your knees, I want them to go with you because I don't want you to lock any knee joints. Your feet are just staying nice and still. Okay, so we're just reaching, opening the left side of the chest. Coming back through center, switching sides. Left hand on heart, inhale, reach back with the right arm. And exhale back through center. One more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Fantastic. That's a foreshadowing to something in a moment. <laughs> okay. So feet hip distance. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair pose. Okay, so chair pose, we can still see our toes beyond our knees. Okay, we're sitting back instead of coming forward. Toes are spread wide. 
palms to our heart center, knees are in line with one another. Sit back as far as feels just in that comfort slash uncomfortable <laughs> stance or, or height, okay? Take your right elbow now as we twist over to the left and your right elbow might hook onto the outside of the left knee or you might just hover there, that's okay too. Okay, again, knees in line with one another. Back through center, inhale. Exhale, open to the other side or twist to the other side. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, forward fold. So lift up the hips. Let the torso be heavy. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, let it go. Step back to downward facing dog. So both feet go back. <clears throat> and pausing here. Okie dokes. So bend the knees as much as you need to to at the most get almost to your heels down flat to the mat if you can. If not, totally fine if they've risen a little bit here. Now looking to your left ankle, okay, really plant that left hand down because I want you to pick up the right hand and take it to the outside of the left ankle as we look back to that foot. And then opening and twisting towards the left. So start to look under the left armpit. Come back through center. Plunk the right hand down to the mat and we'll switch sides. So left hand outside of right ankle or calf and then twisting to look under the right shoulder. Come back through center, both hands on the mat, lower the knees down, find your child's pose again. So untuck the toes, lengthen those arms up. And this time actually in your child's pose, I want you to tense your fingertips so you lift up your arms so that you just have like spider fingertips or tented fingertips on the earth. Forehead is still on the mat. Okay, so long arms just on the fingertips, but still sink the buttocks back to the heels. We really want you to feel that stretch into the armpits. Lower the palms of the hands down, the heels of the hands, the arms completely. Shift into hands and knees or tabletop pose. And maybe the wrists go in front of the shoulders a bit, preparing for down dog, lift knees. Exhale, shift back. Rise your right leg to the sky. Pausing here in that three-legged dog. Look forward towards the hands. And as we shift forward to that three-legged plank, right, we start to take a big step forward with the right foot and then lower the back knee. Okay, so low lunge. Sweep your arms up, inhale. Exhale, palms to your heart. Take the hands down to the inside of the front foot. Walk the right foot out to the right edge of the mat and then walk the back knee back as much as you'd like to get that Really nice juicy uh, quad stretch to the left leg, hip flexor, come to the palms of the hands if you'd like, just whatever feels like you found your edge without taking it too far. Okay. Walk that back knee in, take the right foot back so that you've got your heel underneath your knee, and then sweep your arms up, inhale. Exhale, palms to your hearts, hands down to the ground, lift up the back knee, step the left foot forward, dangling here. Inhale, halfway. Exhale back down. Root into the feet, rise up in any way you'd like. So yogi's choice, inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Okay, and 
staying at the front of your mat, I'm actually going to face you this way so that you can see me, okay? But you can stay at the front of your mat there. Feet hip distance apart, okay? So I guess kind of like our core or our um, peak pose of this practice, core pose, peak pose. Feet underneath your hips, okay? A little bit of a balance here. Weight into the left foot, okay? Rise the right knee hip height, flex the right foot, okay? Left hand outside of right knee, right arm, like we did when we had both feet on the earth, is going to reach to the back of your mat. Maybe you stay looking forward. Maybe you start to take the gaze towards the right hand to the back of the mat. So just remind yourself that you're just playing, okay? No competition here whatsoever. I know we want to compete against ourselves, but just observing what's happening right now in the moment. As we bring our head back through center, our right hand back through center, lower the right foot. Give your limbs a little shake. And shake them off. Shake it off. We're on to the next, next breath, next moment, right? So feet hip distance again. We'll go right to the other side. Spread those toes wide. Weight into the right foot. Rise the left foot up, hip height, foot is flexed. Keep your gaze, your focal point, your drishti point. Right hand outside of the left knee. Left arm squeeze back behind you about um, shoulder height. Okay, either staying to look forward, perfectly fine, or challenge yourself a little bit more. Take your gaze towards that left hand, back of the mat. Rise up through the crown of the head. Keep breathing, hopefully smiling, even if it's an inside smile. Look back through center. Bring your left hand through center. Lower the left foot. Give those limbs another shake. Okay. Yeah. So that's all done. Let's come to the front of the mat. Let's rinse that out. So feet hip distance. Wings up, arms up, inhale. Exhale, come down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back down. Step back, downward facing dog. And then shift forward to high plank pose. So inhale here. Exhale, lower down completely towards the mat. Untuck your toes. You can go back into that bow pose or my canoe pose or into a nice simple cobra. Okay, so any back bend will do. Inhale, rise your heart up. Exhale, lower the heart. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, heart up, shoulder back. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, hearts up. Maybe a little higher. Exhale, lower. Tuck all 10 toes, lift up, and back to downward dog, big breath out. Rise your left leg to the sky. Keep those hips nice and square. Look forward to the hands and take a big step forward with the left foot into low lunge, so lower the right knee down. Take the hands to the inside of the left foot. Walk the left foot out to the edge of the mat. And then like before, the back leg is going to go back as far as you like. So your stretch, your practice, your intensity, okay? So pausing here with the breath, excuse me, pause with the pose, move with the breath. <laughs> Never want to pause with the breath. Keep the breath flowing. One more big breath into this deep stretch. Exhale. Start to walk the back leg in a bit for stability. Take the left foot in. 
Hands will frame the front foot, pick up the back knee, and step forward. Let it go. If there's still anything stuck or stagnant from your day, let that go. Inhale halfway. And exhale, let it go. And then bend your knees as much as you need to to get your peace fingers, index finger, middle finger, to wrap around your big toes. So they come to the inside of the big toe, the second toe, and then take the elbows up to the sides as you bend the knees if you need to and bring your heads down towards your knees. So opening the shoulders, elbows to the sides, stretching the back of the neck, and parting the lips for the jaw to be soft. With one more inhale, maybe extend the knees a little bit without locking the joints. And then release the toes. Inhale slowly for halfway. Exhale, fall forward. And then start to sit onto your sit bones. So bend the knees as you sit your sit bones back. The hands are probably going to come back behind you for support as you come to find your seats. Okay, so I'm actually going to face you this way. <laughs> it's better for you to see me. Okay, so at the front of your mats there, I want you to extend your right leg all the way out to the front. Foot is flexed, left foot to the inner thigh. Rise your arms up, breathe in. Exhale here, pause, put the shoulders into their sockets. Okay, then take the hands back behind you, clasp your fingers together, and then take your shoulder blades back towards one another. Now with a nice long spine, Okay, although shoulders are being manipulated a bit here. On the exhale, hinge forward towards that right leg. Okay, you're probably not gonna come down that far, that is fine. Keeping the neck long. On the next breath in, rise your torso up. Exhale, release the arms. Okay. Take your left hand, rise it up, and then bring that left hand down to the outside of the right foot for a little twist. The left right hand, excuse me, is going to come back behind you. So left hand to the outside of the right leg, right arm back behind you, and peel open the right shoulder. On your next exhale, take the right arm forward. Stay nice and low as you're over top of that leg. Clasp your thumbs together. And then inhale to rise your torso up, long spine. Exhale, bring your wings down to the sides. Good. Other side, so extend the left leg, right foot to the inner thigh. We'll just start with getting long again, so rise arms up. Exhale here, pause. Then sweep the hands back behind you. Take the opposite thumb on top, clasping fingers, shoulders back, right? Left foot is flexed. Inhale here. Exhale, hinging forward with a straight spine. Maybe looking down to the ground. Again, notice what's happening in the jaw. Are you clenching? Are your lips maybe parted or at least your teeth parted. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, release the arms and give them a shake. Okay, other side for that twist. So rise, right arm up. Exhale, hinge forward. Take the right hand to the outside of the left leg, wherever it resides. Left arm sweeps back behind you. And then we peel open the left shoulder, looking to the left. 
sweet, sweet breaths here. Take your left arm forward, stay low. Clasp your thumbs together, okay? With that straight spine, again, inhale, rise your torso up. Exhale, feather your arms down. Yes, bring both legs out in front, give them both a shake. Take your feet flat on the earth, hip distance apart with the knees, maybe hands just rest behind you, and just flop your knees back side to side. Nothing too crazy. Just some nice windshield wipers with the knees. Maybe staying to one side or the other for a second. Seeing how your hips feel. And then as we come back through center, shift your weight to the front of the mat. Okay, so we get to lie back down now. So having anything that you like for Shavasana for that final resting pose. We will do something before that, but anything that you might have, a blanket, a pillow, socks, depending on the temperature in your room, but it will get a bit cooler. Your body temperature will cool as you slow down. And then with your feet flat on the earth, once you grab a knee for Shavasana, hands on the knees, exhale, slide your hands down your thighs, tuck your chin, and slowly come all the way down to your back. Okay, extend your legs, toes are pointed away from the arms, bring your arms overhead, and find an enormous full body stretch. So inhale, reach all your limbs, and exhale, release. Let's do that one more time, how about? Reach to the ends of the earth, and exhale. Hug both knees into your hearts. Rock side to side. A nice massage for the low back. And then come through center. Bring your feet flat on the ground. So for a lying down eagle pose or figure four for the hips, okay? So feet are down on the earth, knees are pointed out to the sky. Take your right ankle and bring it just above, or just, yeah, kind of just above the left knee, right? Just so we're not putting any pressure on the knee joint. And the right knee will flop away from your body, okay? Pick up your left foot, take your arms, and slide them around your left thigh, okay? If you'd like to go a little deeper, maybe your hands are clasped around the left shin instead. Doesn't really matter what that left foot is doing as long as the right foot is engaged and flexed just to protect the knee. And we continue with our breath. Let go of the grip on your left leg and now extend the left leg up towards the sky, keeping the right foot where it is. And then take your hands on the outsides of the thighs. So we have a long left leg to get to the back of the hamstring for a sec. And then rotate your left ankle around in one direction and then the other. Just giving some love to that ankle. And then exhale, bend the left knee, let the legs come down, release both legs, take the right foot on the floor, and we'll find the other side right away. So left ankle just above the right knee, pick up the right foot, keep the left foot flexed, hands to the inside of the leg so they're clasping either around the right thigh or the shin, right? My hips are very different from one another. One feels much tighter than the other, so just showing your body some love and awareness 
from one side to the other. Even though we'd like to think we're symmetrical, we're actually not <laughs> very asymmetric, symmetrical. Okay, so next move here, release the grip of the right leg so it can extend now up to the sky, then take the grip around the right thigh, and then find those ankle rotations. So just playing around here a few times in one direction and the other, perhaps. And then letting that right knee bend and floating the legs back down to the earth. So both feet are now flat on the ground. Take your feet out to the width of your mat. Okay, so the knees are still bent. And I'm going to cactus my arms here because I'm a little bit too close to my wall. <laughs> but you can extend your arms out from your shoulder sockets or cactus them, right? And then flop your knees over to the left. Give them a good flop down. And maybe take the left ankle and bring it on top of the right knee. Left ankle, outside of the left ankle, on top of the right knee. Continue to go to that left side with the knees. And maybe look to the right. Bring your head back through center, your left foot off of the knee if it was there. Bring your knees through center and then just let them flop to the other side. Maybe look to the left. By all means, stay there with the legs or if you'd like, just a choice, right? The right foot goes to the outside of the left knee, outside of the right ankle, outside of the left knee. Take your head through center. Bring your right foot on the earth if it's on the knee. And then take your knees through center. Give your legs one more squeeze into your body. Mm, nice release of the low back here as you might sway side to side. And now we get to find that coveted Shavasana. So whatever that looks like for you this evening. Okay. And even if you do have anything at home for even your next practice where you can place it under your knees, right? If you don't have a traditional yoga bolster, even two pillows is nice under the knees. And that just helps to settle the low back down, especially if you have some low back discomfort or pain there, right? So that could be an option. Otherwise, maybe the arms are really just flopped out to the sides, palms facing up. And because I tend to personally furrow my brow quite a lot, especially when I'm staring at my computer screen and thinking a little too hard, let's all try to soften our brows. Like our foreheads are feeling the heat of some gorgeous sunshine above us and it's just allowing our foreheads to melt and soften. Our eyes are also soft. Our lips perhaps are parted or our teeth are at least apart. Our 
our necks relaxed. Noticing your shoulders melting into the ground. Your arms just sinking, letting go. Your chests, your hearts open. But also soft. Softening your bellies, your backs being supported by the ground. Your hips, just noticing any sensations there. And then letting them go to move on to your sit bones, connecting and settling. Your legs, knees, feet flopping away automatically from one another. all the way down to your toes, allowing your bodies to rest as you breathe moment by moment. Begin to bring awareness back to your space. Finding some small movements now by probably wiggling your fingers and your toes. I always like to then rotate my ankles and my wrists. Feeling out any creaks or cracks or pops. And then picking up your arms, maybe extending them over your heads, pointing your toes, extending your bodies. And with an exhale, letting your limbs release.
Bring your knees to your hearts. Gentle rock side to side. Eventually flopping over to one side or the other in your fetal position. Just taking a second here. Pressing yourselves back up to a nice tall seat. So maybe it was exactly the same tall seat you had in the beginning of practice. Maybe it's something different. Once we're nice and tall, closing the windows of the eyes. Floating the palms into your heart centers. Rising that prayer towards your foreheads for kind and generous thoughts for yourself and others. Thumbs down towards your lips for kind and generous thoughts for yourself, speech, excuse me, for yourself and others. And then your thumbs finally down to your hearts for kind and generous actions. I just want to have kind and generous thoughts for everyone all the time. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. As we bow our heads towards our hearts and our hands, we say thanks and we say a big namaste. Namaste.